So we discuss the seven notes, Sa, Re, Ga, Ma, Pa, Dha, Ni, Sa. There are a total of 12 notes, out of which seven are Shud and five are Vikrut notes. Out of the five Vikrut notes, four are Komal, Re, Ga, Dha, Ni, and one is Tivra, which is Ma. So a total of 12 notes. Hi and welcome to my channel Swar Pooja. Thank you for subscribing. Today I bring to you another beginner level tutorial. We will take a look at all the Vikrut Swar, Re Ga Dhani and Ma Tevra. In the previous uh, tutorial, I covered all the Shud notes and I told you what's an octave. Today I'll share with you the position of these notes and also I have some example of songs in which these notes appear to give you a better understanding of these notes so stay tuned so the first thing that we do is we sing sa sa then comes re shud and re komal is just a little bit lower than re shud sa sa re composition that comes to mind So now let's take a look at Ga Komal. So I'll sing Ga Shud first. Sa Ga 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 Shud Ga Komal. Now let's sing it with a reference to Sa. Saga Yirati Yimasan Nadika Kinara Yitanchal Hava Sa Sagari Sa Sagari That's the note that's used. So now we'll take a look at Ma Tivra. So as I said earlier, Ma is one such note that it moves higher than its the original position ma shud is actually the position of a komal note and it moves higher and becomes tivra madhyam so let's take a look at that note first i'll be singing the shud shud ma and then tivra sa ma Just zero in on that note, Ma Tivra. How it sounds in reference to Sa. Sa Ma. Vujabia. Vujabia. Sa 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 Ma. There's a beautiful composition where you can see this transition from Ma Shud to Ma Tevra. It goes like this. I'll be covering the remaining notes in the upcoming tutorial. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit the bell icon to receive all the notifications. Take care and see you guys soon.